Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a brief overview of Dubsado and how to create your first project with your first client. So once you have Dubsado open and you are in the dashboard, click the projects tab on the left hand side. Then you will click the new project button over here on the right hand side and this screen will pop up that says create a new project. So type in your project title, whatever that may be, and then click on the create a new client button and this will pop up and you can type in their first name, their last name. You can also type in their company name or their email address and their phone number. Um, you might be able to or you might want to keep this information to just save for later. So when you're emailing them or if you have a phone call with them, etc., you can select the project status. So if it's a past project, a current project um, or if it's a lead, that would be up there as well. So we'll press the current project and then you can also add in some custom tags so that when you are filtering your projects later down the road and let's say you do offer both logo design and website design, just as an example, you can search for all of your logo design clients and those will all pop up or you can search for just your website design clients and those will all pop up. So that's the importance of the tags. I will choose website design. And then you can add in whatever notes you want here. Maybe you already had a discovery call with them and you want to add some notes specific to their project. You can add those in there. And then you can also add in project dates. So we could say the project is starting today and it is ending, uh, let's say, Friday. Um, and then you can either click to show yourself as available or busy. So maybe this is a project where you're going to be spending all day, every day in the project. Then you would want to show yourself as busy. Otherwise, I always click available because it allows people to still schedule meetings with me. So if I click busy, then when they go to my scheduler to schedule a meeting with me, it will show that I can't take any meetings for those days. So I always choose available. So now we're and it is going to show up here. This button is where you could add a contract. You could add some more tags over here. You can change the project status. You can edit your client name here. This is your portal. You're going to want to activate this. You can change your project location, your custom map project fields. You can select a referral source and you can assign this to another team member. So what we're going to focus on here is adding a contract. So I have a couple of contracts written up already um, to add any sort of contracts to your portal. You're going to go to the utilities tab over here and then click on, oh, I'm sorry, go to the templates tab and then click on forms and you can create whatever forms you want. And this is where you can create contracts, questionnaires, etc. So once you have your contract created, then you're gonna come back into the project and you can add the contract to the project by clicking the add button, exiting out. It's gonna say that it needs sending, but I'm just gonna wait for a second. Um, I'm also going to add an invoice. So I'm gonna click the invoice tab. I'm just doing these two because you're technically gonna send a contract and an invoice to them first. So these are the steps that I would take if I'm onboarding a new client. I'm gonna add an invoice here by clicking the add button. And then it's gonna ask for a title test invoice, you could say branding project, whatever it is, and then you would add a new line item here. Um, we'll just do test quantity, you can change, make the price, make it $7.95. You can add tax if you want, um, and then you can also add a category. So we'll do branding services. We'll add this, and then you can add a due date. So I always require 50% up front, so I'm going to add in a due date of, um, let's say tomorrow, and I want 50%, so I'm gonna add a percentage. And then you can also add reminders as well. So they need to pay me $3.97 by tomorrow. So I, um, this is going to automatically be into the portal that you're gonna send them, but if you just wanted to send them an invoice, you could say send via email. I always test out what the invoice looks like, um, so I always click the open a new window tab, but this is what the email would look like if you wanted to send them the email for just the invoice, um, but I'm gonna send both at the same time, so I'm gonna wait on that. Um, so I'm gonna go back to the emails tab, and then I'm going to 
click this little arrow and click apply to portal. So the contract is now living in the portal. And then I'm going to click this button. I'm going to send them the portal. So this portal um, is going to be where they can view both the contract and the invoice from your clients. Um, so you just send them this email and then they can access their portal. They'll be able to see the contract, the invoice, any sort of email communications that you guys have back and forth. If you want to add any sort of questionnaires or anything like that, this would also be the place for um, you to put them would be in the portal. So you can add forms in here by clicking add new form. Um, I will just go ahead and add a design logo questionnaire. Add to portal. So now all of those things are in the portal for the client to be able to view and their password, it's always going to auto generate here to be their email. So they will get this link. All they have to do is open it up, put their email in. They'll be able to see the design questionnaire, the contract and the invoice, and they'll be able to electronically sign anything or electronically fill out any of your questionnaires. That's pretty much the basics for setting up your first client. Don't worry about any of these other, um, things up here for now, but this is this is a good start for you for getting your first client into Dubsado. Hope you enjoyed. If you like these videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. I will be posting new videos weekly.